I'm here at Steinbrenner High School with Rays PA announcer Greg Khalil. And how did you get into the business? How much time do you have? Um, long story told, as short as possible, uh, I did PA work for basketball and hockey back in my high school in Vermont a long, long long time ago. Um, in the 90s, I was attending a hockey game down at uh, Tropicana Field before they opened the Ice Palace. Happened to wander into the control room, thought, oh, this looks exciting. Uh, hung around for a bit, uh, mustered up the courage to ask if anybody there ever needed any technical help. Turns out one of the guys there also worked down at Al Lang Stadium doing minor league baseball. He frequently had conflicts. He says, I could use some help down there. One thing leads to another. I end up doing uh, part-time PA announcing for minor league ball in the 90s. And then when the Rays came to be uh, the major league team, uh, I applied then, didn't get it. Uh, they Five or six years ago now, they had an opening. I applied then, went through the audition process, made it to the round of live auditions and finished a close fourth, or at least that's how I like to describe it. And then uh, three years ago, they did it again, and I was fortunate enough to uh, get the top spot. What so. do you enjoy the most about PA announcing baseball? Um, baseball as a sport is my first love. Uh, from the time I was eight or nine years old, I was a big fan of it. Like so many kids, I, if I'd had the choice when I grew up, I wanted to be a ball player. I uh, realized when I topped out at five foot seven uh, about high school that that wasn't going to be happening. Um, but there are so many things. I, would just, I, I would tell people, I say, I'm getting paid to watch baseball from a front row seat, and as a bonus, they feed me every night. So there's really nothing not to like about it. Uh, the fact that I am a part of Major League Baseball, even in a small way, is, is a big thrill for me. And the people that I work with take a good experience and make it fantastic. Uh, I understand that in some ballparks around the country, you're basically in a closet, you're hearing cues over a headset, but you're sitting there alone for the entire game. I work in a room of about 20 people, directors, people that are operating scoreboard, uh, the stadium disc jockey, sound engineer, et cetera. And the work atmosphere is just fantastic. Our boss every year at our preseason meeting says, yes, it is a job, but if you can't have fun doing this, you're in the wrong place.